In this video, we're going to look at simulating and posting a program. Now, we're going to use a part that we had programmed earlier in the 2D machining lesson. You can use any part that you've programmed, but the part will need to have had toolpath applied to it. In this case, we're going to open up this file, 2D machining lesson. We'll go to open. Okay, now that we have our part on the screen and we do have toolpath added, we can come over here to our cam tree and let's say we're going to simulate the part and make sure that everything looks okay. So we right click milling stock and left click verify. This will launch the simulation. We'll go ahead and start the simulation. The slide bar will speed it up or slow it down. Now other options for the simulation are located in the right click menu. So if you right click in the simulation, you get your zooming, your panning, your option to flip the part, and several other options. Now, now that I'm simulating this part, I can see that the pocketing is occurring first. Let's say that we wanted the drilling that's happening to occur first. We'll go ahead and click on End. The toolpath will be posted or output in the order that it sits in the cam tree here. So let's say that we want to do the pocket second. To change the order of operations, we simply click on the feature and then drag it in the order that we want it to cut. Now I can see it's going to drill first, then pocket, then profile. Now we can right click milling stock again, go to verify, and we can see that the simulation's been updated. Now the drilling's happening first, we can see each tool change, and now our pocket's being cut. Let's go ahead and end the simulation. Once we've simulated the part and we're happy with it, we're ready to select the post processor that we're going to use. Now the post controls the formatting of the G-code that's output. This is set now for Haas VF Rev1. Now let's say we wanted to change this post processor. We can right click, go to edit, then click on select and select from our list of installed post processors. In this case, though, we're going to go ahead and use the Haas VF post. Now, the next thing to consider is going to be the order that the posting happens in. Now, Bobcad will allow you to either post out by tool or by feature. And what this means is that if we're posting by feature, the posting will occur in whatever order the features are output in. Like in this case, we have a pocket and a profile. Perhaps we have a roughing tool for the pocket and a roughing tool for the profile, as well as finish tools for both. If we come here, right click milling tools, go to part, and then machining order, we can set this to post by individual tool, meaning that all of the roughing tools will cut before the finishing tools. If we set it by feature, it'll cut the roughing for the pocket, then the finish for the pocket then switch back to the roughing tool and then cut the roughing for the profile and then the finish. So you'll get less tool changes if you use individual tool. In some instances though you may want to or need to use individual feature. So again you can right click milling tools, go to part, and then your machining order. You can change the default machining order under default. The next thing to look at are the tools themselves. So if we go to Verify Tool Assignment, this will give us a list of the tools that are being used in this program, as well as the tool numbers being output. Now the tool numbers can either be set automatic tool numbering, which will output sequentially, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or we can use the tool numbers that are set up in our tool database. If we uncheck Use Automatic Tool Numbering, you'll see the numbers that had been set up in the database. As well as you can also click on a tool number and then double click and then change the number manually as well. In this case we'll use automatic tool numbering. We'll click OK. Now at this point we're ready to actually post and save the program. So if we're going to use a disk like a USB stick or a floppy disk we put it in the computer now and then we'll come up here to milling tools right click and go to post and save as 
give the file a name. And then save the file. That'll save the file to whatever location you choose, and it also gives you a preview of the code being output in the Post Manager.